감사합니다. Thank you very much. 어, 우리 성전 건축하고 기도하고 있습니다. So we are praying for temple construction. 그런데 네, 전쟁이 탁 터지면 네, 이제 그때 많은 사람을 알아보게 되죠. And when war breaks out, you really get to know the people for who they are. You can't really know during the normal life. But when a war breaks out and the problems occur, that's when you know who the real soldiers are. And you don't know if you're just on a joyride on a ship, but a storm comes. 진짜 이게 옆에 있는 사람 알 수가 있어요. Then you can know who the real captain is, who the real brave people are. 또 우리가 막 문제가 오거나 갈등이 생기거나 위기가 오면 이다 사람이 다 분별되죠. And you could see and discern people in problems, conflicts, and crises come. 이 성전 건축을 이렇게 하면요, 또 믿음의 크기가 나옵니다. And when you do temple construction, you see the greatness of faith. 부산 우리 이만일 교회는 보니까. 어, 저 감정 놀란 게 장로님들이 저보다 믿음이 더 커요. And I was shocked by the Busan Emmanuel Church elders because they have a greater faith than even me. 이런 계획을 세우는 거 보면은 저보다 믿음이 훨씬 커요. And during the planning stage, they have a greater faith than I have. 그래서 이 이런 걸 해보면 믿음의 크기가 나온다 봐요. And so when you do these things, you could see the size of their faith. 딱 하나를 알고 시작을 해. But you need to start with knowing just one thing. 이 성전은 영적 전쟁하는 본부입니다. The the temple is the headquarters for spiritual war. 뭐 영적 전쟁을 눈에 안 보이는 전쟁인데 그러나 영적 전쟁의 본부가 성전이에요. Spiritual warfare is invisible, but the headquarters of that is the temple. 네, 이걸 알면 여러분들이 아 어떤 성전 어떻게 기도해야 될 거냐 나오죠. And if you know this, then what kind of temple we must pray for, you know. 네, 그래서 제일 먼저 여러분이 아셔야 될 거는 the first thing you must know. 뭐든지 그래야 되겠죠. It must be this way for all things. 그러나 금방 우리 교회에 하나님이 원하시는 건 뭐죠? But quickly, what is it that God desires of our church? You must know that and begin. And of course, it exists for everyone what God desires. You must discover what God desires to be connected with answers. So look at the Old Testament age. What God desires. 저는 보면서 야 기가 차다고 본게 모세 어머니입니다. And I was so amazed when I saw the mother of Moses. 자 이스라엘 사람을 죽이는 데는 애굽 사람들이란 말이에요. So the Egyptians are killing the Israelites. 애굽 사람들 속에 모세를 보내야 되겠다고 생각. But she thought I must send Moses into the amongst the Egyptians. 그래서 요 짧은 시간에 확실한 언약을 심어서 보낸 거예요. And in this short period of time, she instilled the sure covenant and sent him. 자 보세요. So look. 그 뒤는 말할 필요 없잖아요. So we don't have to talk about what happens afterwards. 그래서 우리 기도에 늘 질질 기도하란 말은 하나님이 원하시는 걸 보게 돼. I'm saying always do the 777 prayer because you will see what God desires. 알아도 어렵지 않죠. It's not difficult at all. 아니. What is it God desires of the Emmanuel Church? You must open wide your doors. The entire world comes. So you must open wide the doors. That is what God desires. Multi ethnics can come and be at ease. So remnants can come and find hope and play. We need that kind of temple. And so Busan must have a sure three courtyards. That they could come very conveniently. And so if the remnants and the multi-ethnic people come, they can come and rest at the Busan Emmanuel Church. The sick can come. That's what. 
Remnants need concentration to discover your talents, then come. You must be able to see that. And so if you know that what this means, each and every time the interpretation is different. Now, committed worker overseas, come. What must you do? Don't try to make them your church worker. They must be the worker for their nation. It's such a simple thing, but people don't discover it. It's so easy. Discovering what God desires is easy. So don't be deceived. Each and every time, discover what God desires. That's it. We don't have time, so over a couple things. Church officer Obadiah hid 100 prophets of God. He didn't calculate this. You can't do it through calculation. That's right. People just calculate. It's not about calculation. You saw what God desired. It's okay even if I die. That's it. Not difficult to receive answers to prayer. This is dangerous. But it's what God desires. That's right. If the king finds out, it's a big problem. It's what God desires. We must save the prophets. Everything ended here. What is God desires most? Why? Because God has destined the date of your funeral. God destined the place of your birth. Simple. Why did God send me to RLS and RGS? Because He knows your future. We don't know. Look at the Bible carefully. Look at the Old Testament. They made a resolution. They came as called captives, but they made a resolution. I will not eat the meat that was on top of the altar of idols. But the king doesn't like it. But they knew what God desired. Look at the scripture carefully. Death came to them. The king said, just bow one time. They said, we cannot. And it's okay, even if we die. This is where they changed the age. This is what happened in the Old Testament. There are things that Jesus told us not to do. The things of the world, that's not blessings, that's not it. That's what he said. Prayers, don't do prayers like that. Pray for the kingdom of God. That's right. Just don't fight over who did right or wrong at the church. Give the proper worship before God. This is what Jesus talked about. If you look at all of his ministry, he says, don't do this. And Jesus said one thing. John 14, 16, I will send you the counselor, the Holy Spirit. Before carrying the cross, he says, I will send you the counselor, the Holy Spirit. I will send you the counselor, the Holy Spirit, who will protect you forever. Forever. 
보혜사 성령을 너에게 보내겠다. I'll send the counsel of the Holy Spirit who will give you grace. 너희를 가르치는 성령을 보내겠다. I'll send the Holy Spirit who will teach you. 이 합친 게 보혜사예요. And combining this is the counselor. 예수님의 마지막 강단입니다. Jesus' final pulpit. 자, 여기서 나오죠. And it comes out here. 모든 성도는 놓치지 말아야 돼요. All the believers must not lose hold of this. 감남산에서 일곱 망대를 가지고 완전 복음 100%. With the seven partisans on the Mount of Olives, the complete gospel 100%. 감남산에서 일곱 여정을 가지고 With the seven partisans on the Mount of Olives, the complete journey, 100%. That is why we study. The complete guidepost, 100%. This was the final puppet of Jesus. By God's grace, I saw something here that no university or book can teach. And this must be for our believers and our remnants. There's nothing of mine that I can teach you. This is what I said when I went to Japan. And so, in the very first place I went, to, Higashi Omiya is the region I went to do the conference. And so, I said something very shocking. And so, in the front, there was this playground type of a grassy place. So, I was walking around, I went to the bathroom, came into my uh, dormitory. And I thought in three hours, I left my wallet there. Three hours passed since I left my wallet. And so many people went back and forth. Yes, there's money there, but there's so many cards and IDs, so I just ran there. I was shocked. It was still there. I thought, what's going on? In Korea, it would be gone. I thought, Japan is amazing. So it could be a miracle. It could be a miracle that no one else came. But at that time, the Japanese people said this. You must not learn the evangelism of Koreans. No. You must learn the Bible. That's what I said. If what I'm saying is right in the Bible, then do it. If not, don't do it. Why? Because I've discovered this in the Bible. Truly, think of this carefully. Don't try to just listen to my sermon. You must confirm this for yourself. This is what he said at the Mount of Olives. If you have this, that's it. Then we must do it. Don't just listen to my emotions. Look at the Bible. He explained the works of the kingdom of God for 40 days. And what's before that? In my former book, that is Christ, and kingdom of God, that's right, the throne and God, only Holy Spirit, it's the triune God. It shows how the triune God works. You take these answers with you, and the greater answers are awaiting us, and that is for our remnants. Age by age, it was the same way. 
최고의 축복받을 자격이 있어. So the RGS r l s teachers, you have the right to receive the greatest blessings. 모르고 왔으면 그게 은혜요. And so if you just came here without even knowing that's the grace of God, you just came without realizing that's a grace. 깨달을 뿐인다. 그게 사명이요. If you realize that's your mission. 자 그러면 오늘 여러분들이 성전 건축을 하는데 이 부분을 알고 볼때 세 가지 성전을 지어야 돼요. And so today, when you build your temple construction, you need to know three things to build the temple. 첫째입니다. First, 내 안에 있는 성전. The temple within me. 두 번째입니다. Secondly, 현장에 있는 성전. The temple in the field. 세계 우상을 막는 실제 성전. The actual temple that blocks the idols of the world. 이걸 보고 예배당이라고 하죠. This is where we call the place of worship. 예배드린 장소. The place where you give worship. 이세 가지 성전을 지어야 돼요. We must build these three temples. 그러면 이제 응답 옵니다. Then the answers will come. 예수님이 빛으로 오셨어요. Jesus came as the light. 영접하는 겁니다, 내 안에. That is what we accept inside of us. 이단이 벌어지죠. 영접하는 자고 그 이름을 믿는 자들에게는 하나님의 자녀가 되는 권세를 주다. Amazing things occur to those who believe, to those who receive His name. He gave the right to become the children of God. 뭐라 그렇지? 완전히 달라져. And people don't realize, but you completely change. 그러면 이 일이 벌어져. And then this takes place. 성령이 역사. The Holy Spirit works. 뭐 일반 사람들 알지도 못하는 거죠. The people, unbelievers, don't even know. 고린도후서 5장 17절. Second Corinthians 5:17. 영적 DNA가 바뀌어 버려. Your spiritual DNA changes. 그리스도께서 이만한 성전이 되었네. 뒤바뀌어 버려. The Christ has become the temple within me that we have changed our inside. 왕이 있는 집은 왕궁이에요. The house which houses the king is the palace. 거지가 있는 집은 아무리 좋아도 거지 소굴이에요. No matter how great of a place you might have, if a beggar is there, it's just the beggar's place. 내가 아무리 부족하지만 내 안에 하나님이 계시니까. No matter how lacking I am, but God lives in me, so I'm God's temple. First Corinthians three sixteen. You must remember this. Galatians two twenty. 여러분 안에 그리스도께서 the Christ is within you. 여러분 학업에 그리스도께서 Christ in your studies. 됐죠? 여러분 산업에 Christ in your businesses. This is the temple that is made within me. It is truly magnificent. Philippians 3, 1-21. And amazing things are included here. Most important. Most important, verse twenty. So we have the citizenship of heaven. So whether other people believe it or not, but you don't believe it, that's why problems come. 조금 참고해야 될 것은 앞으로 이제 정신병자 수술이 나올 것이기 때문에 그런 쪽으로 의사라든지 약이라든지 기계라든지. And so, when you must take into consideration, is the mental illness is on the rise, so you must be a doctor or raise the drugs or facilities or houses for that. 더 쉽게 말하면 뇌를 치유할 수 있는 쪽으로 준비해. More simply said, you must prepare toward the place where you could heal the brain. 멀쩡한데 거의 다 돌아 있으니까요. And they look normal, but they're all mentally ill. 내 안에 성전이. The temple within me. 다락방. 다락방. 내가 있는 곳에 다락방 능임하면 성전이 돼요. Where I am, if we have the 다락방 take place, that becomes the temple of God. Team 사야. Team ministry. 만나는 사람들이 여러분에게 속사람을 보여줄 수 있도록 되면 성공해요. If you can meet people, if you can meet people and they really tell you about their inner self, then that is team ministry. 뭐 내가 뭐 누굴 알고 뭐. It doesn't matter who you know. 
소리 아래에서 알지서 친구를 만났는데 어, 내가 지금 진짜 내 성경으로 얘기를 했더니 어, 나에게 복음을 전해줘. The person you meet is they say, I met somebody from RLS and RGS and I talked about this very secret problem. And they shared me the answer. Team, Team ministry. Because of one of you, the force of darkness crumble in your family. Mission home. Mission home. Don't try to go somewhere and create a ruckus to evangelize. Just quietly help those employees in your company. Specialized church. Understand. If you get uh, become an adult and you get married, and in your midst there'll be so many people in difficulty and hardship. That is what we call regional church. And so I'm so very thankful for Elder Choi Jung-an of the Emmanuel Church because they continuously help the remnants sincerely. They don't calculate at all. As I see it, he continues to give them the energy to save the posterity. I saw somebody like that for the first time. They, everybody else calculates. Everybody else for their own benefit. Not this person. Truly, he empowers the posterity. I was so thankful. And so many legal professionals arose from that. That is the regional church. Does not end there. Now we must fight the idolatrous culture. The culture war. We must fight it. That is the temple. To the extent how we prepare our temple, we break down the culture of darkness in the region. Really open your hearts and make the facility where the remnants can come and play to their heart's extent. They must come and be able to express themselves freely. The multi ethnics can come as much as they want. That they can come anytime, 24 hours a day. The church that can truly help the sick for the rest of their lives. A parent of a handicapped person said this So, what's going to happen to my child when we die? How concerned will you be? My child must die even before me. How difficult is that situation? There is no church on the face of this earth that could give convenience to those people. We need to make one. Even if we have to take over an entire mountainside, we need to create the facility to help these people for the rest of their lives. Why, why can't we do it? We must pray. The Mason War. That's right. Not the Freemasons. Holy the Holy Mason. That is the battle we must fight. Freemasons have created all these temples and shrines and deceive all the people. We build the temple as the Holy Mason. That is the war we must fight. And why must we win over the idolatrous culture of the world? 
우리의 이름은 남길 필요가 없습니다만 은 후대가 새겨 올수 있는 발자취를 남기라는 We don't have to necessarily leave our names behind, but we must leave the footprints, the memorial. And so these footprints is a spiritual meaning. This can be uh, something to really prevent from danger. And so when children have lost their way, they could see the footprints. Nobody knows if there's a cliff on the other side. That is why we must leave the footprints. 이렇게 기도하시면 됩니다. That's how you must pray. 그래서 어, 11절에 그렇다면 우리의 마지막 싸움이 뭘까요? Then verse 11, what is our final battle? 성경 분명히 10절 끝으로 그랬습니다. And in verse 10 it says at the very end. 11절에 나왔어요. Verse 11. 마귀의 괴괴, 마귀의 간괴. 그래서 이걸 능히 이기기 위해서 전심. It's so that we could win over the devil's schemes to put on the full armor of God. 괴괴라고도 하고 간괴라기도 합니다. And sometimes it's deception, it's sometimes schemes. 아주 예, 말을요. 아주 지혜롭게 이렇게 다 해서 사람을 무너뜨리는 마귀의 계획에. He creates very witty uh, words to destroy people. 그래서 쉽게 말하면 우리는 사단과의 싸움이다. And so it's simply saying we're fighting against Satan. 이걸 꼭 명심해야 되고요. That is what we must remember. 12절에 더 중요한 말 나왔죠. And more importantly, verse 12. 우리의 싸움은 혈과 육이 아니다. It's our battle is not against flesh and blood. 우리는 사단과의 싸움인데 이 사단이 네 가지를 장악하고 있어요. Our battle is against Satan, but he has taken over four things. 정사, the rulers. 정사 이 말은 많은 위에 이걸 활용하고요. Rulers is all the leaders of everyone. 권세자들, the authorities. 그다음 어둠 세상 주관자들. And against the powers of this dark world. 하늘의 악의 영들. Against the spiritual forces of evil. 이걸 이렇게 활용합니다. That's what Satan utilizes. 그래서 여러분들은 마지막 싸움을 할줄 알아야 돼. And so you must know how to fight the final battle. 십삼절 이렇게 나왔어요. Verse 13 says this. 악한 날에 너희가 능히 대적하고 On the day when the evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground against it. You must fight this battle. And so starting now, what must you do? You must arm yourself. That is what we call the full armor of God. How do, you, how do you actually put on the full armor of God? Explaining from the head, the salvation helmet. What is it? It's assurance of salvation. You must have it. And it's the belt of truth. And it is buckled around your uh, breastplate of righteousness. What is it? 정말 여러분 구원에 감사. Your emotion, thankfulness for your salvation. 또 진리의 띠, 허리띠를 매야 돼. And the belt of truth. 진정 나가는 사람이 어? 이 지금 띠를 단단히 탁 매야 돼. And so when you go to uh, work, you must have a strong belt. 그띠 이름이 진리의 띠. And the belt is the belt of truth. 우리 학교 다닐 때 잠깐 빈 시간에 어떤 아이가 나와가지고. 키즈를 내는데 나폴레옹이 알프스 산을 넘을 때왜 빨간 허리띠를 매을까요 And a child at, when I was going to school gave a quiz and said, Why did Napoleon have a red belt when he went over the Alps? 기억을 못하고 왜 빨간 띠를 매을까 And I couldn't remember why. 아무도 대답 못하잖아요. Nobody could answer. 그 대답이 뭐냐? What's the answer? 빨간 허리띠를 안 매면 바지가 내려가니까. Because if you don't put on the red belt, then his pants will fall down. Nonsense quiz이죠. A nonsense quiz. 그러니까 진리의 띠를 매고. So you must have the belt of truth. 자, 저 밑에 뭐죠? And what's at the very bottom? 신발. 복음의 신발을 신고. The shoes, the gospel of peace. 여러분 복음 전할 수 있는 비밀이 없으면 신발이 없는 것 같아. And if you don't have the readiness of the gospel, it's like not having any shoes. 그 다음에 나왔습니다. And then? 방패. The shield. 방패 이름 뭐죠? What is the shield? 믿음의 방패. Is the shield of faith. 이렇게 쫙 나왔어. That's how it comes out. 또. 
한손을 뭐요? And what do you have in your hand? 칼. The sword. 이 말씀은 무기이기도 하고 어떤 면에서는 굉장히 나를 보호하는 그게 되기도 해요. The word. 무기지요. It could be a weapon, usually a weapon, or it could be something to protect yourself. 그리고 마지막 한 말이 있어. And finally, he says. 무시로 성령 안에서 기도하고. Is pray in the spirit on all occasions. 이십사. Verse 20, uh, 24. 이십사 소통입니다. You communicate 24 hours a day. 기도지요. Prayer. 이걸 얘기한 겁니다. That's what he said. 어떻게 하면 됩니까? 이십사 하면 돼요. What should we do? 24. 어떻게면서 묻지도 마세요. 물은 그게 사람 상대방 말이 막 내게 막안 맞을 수도 있어. Don't even question the, the answer might not even match you. 신앙생활을 정말로 하는 사람들 제일 주의해야 될 것은 내가 하나님께 이십사 기도 나온 답이 있어. 그게 가장 정확한 거예요. Those who live their life of faith, the most important thing is to receive the answer from God from doing 24-hour prayer. 앞으로 어떤 면을 내면 사람에게 묻지 마라. 많은 걸 보고 참고하고 24 기도 속에 있으면 하나님이 알려주시오. From now, remnants, don't ask other people. You might see and attend to many things, but God will give you the answer when you do 24-hour prayer. 잘 기억하고 들으셔야 됩니다. You must very care, listen carefully. That is the true way to success. That is the mystery to save unbelievers. God will give you the answer. 그렇죠. That's right. 그리고 마지막으로 뭡니까? And finally, what is it? Why must we build a temple? Three courtyards. Three-day weekend. Holy meditation age. To open this. To open the age of the three courtyards already, you're preparing the future for yourself. You're taking this with you. The three-day weekend age, you must have evidence. If you take evidence with you, there's so many things you could give for the posterity. The age of holy meditation. It's the power of prayer. That's how you could win over the age of meditation. You must build this temple that could do this that does not exist in this world. What must we do? 24-hour prayer. Then 25 will come. And we'll challenge toward eternity. Our first and second service, and especially the worship that we do with our remnants, each and every moment, hold to this and pray. It might not seem like much, but big answers will result from this. Wait. As you pray, let us pray. God, we give you thanks. We thank you for giving us the eyes to be able to see the true covenant of God. May you allow the reason for the temple and the blessings to wait and enjoy. Allow us the power to challenge. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.